Hey guys, Danny the Traveler here, and I'm about to go check out one of the most famous abandoned places in England. It's, uh, it's an abandoned chalet. Um, yeah, let's go check it out. My usual traveling buddy is going to sit this adventure out, as it could be a little risky. As luck would have it, I actually rented a place not too far from here. So when I found out that it was uh, literally five minutes walk away from me, I was pretty excited. The entire Pontins Holiday Park would be a bit tricky to enter, as it's closed off from the public on all sides. The park itself is massive, as it used to hold thousands of holiday goers for years up until it suddenly closed in 2008. I knew some people had visited this little abandoned camp recently, and so there had to be a way in. Of all the signs, this one had me worried. But after a while, I threw caution to the wind. first thought, I couldn't believe I was actually inside the camp. It was surreal. Yeah, I definitely couldn't bring Rocky with all this glass on the ground. There are more than 500 shallots that make up this 22 acre holiday site, but it's now become a target for vandals and arsonists, which is quite unfortunate. The place used to have fun holiday activities like a swimming pool, a pub, tennis courts, adventure playground, go-karts, but this place has just been in disrepair now for years. More glass on the floor. I'm trying to keep my footsteps quiet in case there are police dogs or other people out here because I'm not supposed to be here. This is quite spooky. Now, I'm trying to be low-key, but at the same time, I still wanted to check out what the shallots looked like inside. Okay, strange noises. Now, I'm trying to stay low as across the street from this site is another active holiday campsite and I do not want to get caught here. Nobody's going to be renting this room anytime soon. So I'm starting to, I'm starting to hear a lot of noises. Um, so I'm going to leave soon. I'm just going to check out one more area. And that's it. Those noises sounded like dogs barking close by. Then I remembered the police dog sign. Even though I'm a dog lover, that's the last thing I want to run into. Look at this. Queen Victoria Public House. I bet so many people used to get wasted here, but now the entire place is just wasted.
possible escape route. I thought I heard some strange noises around the corner. And a sigh of relief, no police dogs here. I think I'm done. That was a pretty cool experience. A little bit uh, frightening. My heart's still beating rapidly. So uh, I'm gonna go now. But it was nice to see this cool abandoned place. If you're up for a high risk abandoned site adventure, there's certainly worse places to explore. Thanks for joining me here. Let's go back. Well. That was an experience.